Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki on Sunday said Katsi demanded that all Progressives Congress National Chairman Adams Oshomile should notify him whenever he intended to visit home. The former governor, who was in Benin at the weekend for a funeral, was booed at the airport by youths. His convoy was pelted with water sachet as security barred the youths from getting close. It was gathered that the barricade was to prevent any political meetings from holding in the house. Obaseki, who addressed reporters about the airport incident, said Oshomole should have informed the state government of his visit. Earlier on, Plus TV Africa spoke with Edo State APC Chairman Asnem Ojezwa to weigh in on this matter. Edo State has been in the news for almost all the wrong reasons, for lack of a better word. What do you make of these arguments between Oshomole and Obaseki and the people of Edo State? Well, it's a very unfortunate situation that we have found ourselves. And uh, the only comment one can make at this point is that the whole thing has been so poorly mismanaged. And uh, what you see now is the result of arrogance, impunity, and uh, perhaps an inflated ego of those concerned. Sides have accused each other of using thugs to, you know, attack or disrupt activities. Um, you know, some, sometimes it comes from this end and the other end. Now, the question generally is, how do we get to a point where, you know, politics in Nigeria, not just a do state, but generally speaking, would be devoid of the use of thugs? Well, uh, it, has, it has become a norm. Just look around you. Unfortunately, uh, you have to understand that um, not every crowd of people who come to express themselves should be referred to as thugs. There are people who have very strong feelings about any issue. They reserve the right to come out and speak. It is their conduct that will determine whether they should be referred to as thugs or not. So I think you need to make that distinction. People have a right to express themselves. Sometimes they don't even have to be organized by anybody. If they feel strongly on any issue, they will come out and say so. So it's, uh, this has been very typical of uh, those states right from 2008 to date. You want to see a collaboration between leaders, you know, and those who have served the people in almost the same capacity. Now we're talking about, you know, Oshomole at some point as the governor of the state and Obaseki, who's currently the governor of that state. Why are we not seeing this collaboration between these two? Well, I think clearly those who should provide leadership have actually joined the fray. And now we are looking for people from outside the state to arbitrate. Unfortunately, I just have to put this on the doorstep of Oshomole because he was the he was the undisputed leader. Now he is supervising the dismemberment and the instability of the party in the state when he should be the one putting everybody together. So he has to take responsibility. You know, it's just a pity that um, it has degenerated to this level. Unfortunately, I also have to say that the, the leadership at the national level left it a bit too late. This uh, situation should not have been allowed to fester to this, to this point. If they had nipped it in the bud, we probably would have gotten a better result. Now we Let me also add that when Oshomole was governor for eight years, he was not a perfect person. Those who did not support him at least tolerated him. Why can he not ex have been extend the same level of understanding with his successor who he helped to get into office? Why would he want to destroy that by which he himself benefited? These are the issues, and it's really unfortunate. We understand that there are two factions of the APC in Edo State. Which one is the authentic one, so to speak? Which one do we recognize as the authentic one, for lack of a better word? Of course. There is no faction. I am the state chairman of APC in Edo State. 
I went for Congress. What you see there, the pretenders you see claiming to be another faction, is a creation of Oshomole. So he is the one who will answer your question. He foisted this situation on us. APC in Edo State is intact. Majority of the state executive members are with me. Majority of the local government chairmen, 15 out of 18, are with me. Majority of the state working committee, they are with me. Oshomole is playing God. It is only the almighty God that will say one with God is majority, not one with Oshomole. He is using a miserable lot to come and create instability in Edo State. And I can tell you that he will get the result in full measure. He cannot avoid responsibility. Well, having said that, now what is the way forward in terms of achieving peace for both the people and, you know, these leaders who should be leading by example, as you agree? The way forward is for Shomole to allow Obaseki to do his job. If you look at all they have said throughout this period, not one of them has said Obaseki is not performing as a governor. Nobody has complained that the citizens of Edo State are not happy with Obaseki. So what is the problem? That he's not sharing the, the patrimony to individuals to satisfy their, their, their greed. But is this same Oshomole who told us that the resources of state is enough to meet the need of the people, but not the greed of the leaders? Should Obaseki continue to service the leaders at the expense of the people of Edo State? This is the issue. So the way forward is for Oshomole to allow Obaseki to do his job. He has a job at the national level. Let him concentrate on his job. Thank you so very much, Mr. Ojezwa, for Thank sharing you. your thoughts with us.